In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to transition to a brand new video scene by going through the image of a letter. This comes as a request from one of my subscribers who saw this technique displayed in the American drama series Alias. We'd like to show you a simple clip of the technique and then we'll show you how you can do something like that yourself. First thing I'm going to do is take my video clip I'll transition to and drag and drop that on track number two. Then I want to take a background. I'm going to choose a different one than we had before. I'll just take a color board. I'll click down on my color boards, um, maybe pick something in a dark blue, drag that down and put that in track number one. Then I'm going to take the title I want to use and put that in track number three. I can press the F7 key or click on the T to get to the title room. Take the My Title and put that in track number three. Now we'll start by working on the My Title. I'm going to double click on it or I can press the F2 key to get into the Title Designer. What I want to do first of all is I want to change the text. We're going to change this to say Ohio and let's make it fatter. We're going to make it bold. So I'm going to click on the B on the left side and then I think I'll increase the size maybe to something like a 56 font and then we should be good to go. What I want to do now is keyframe it. So to do that I click on the little arrow to the left of number one and that will open up all my different keyframe controls. I'm going to start with a position and scale. We'll set that and then I'm going to move in about one second and at the one second mark I'm going to set some other keyframe controls I'm going to leave it at that same size then we're going to move over to the three second mark and then at the three second mark I'm going to set a third set of keyframe values at three seconds the word Ohio I want to be enormous so big in fact that you can see the entire video inside the letter O. So I'm going to minimize my preview screen and then take and drag the lower right corner way off the recording screen making sure the center of that O is large enough and we'll move it over. I'll use the keyboard controls here and now it's more than big enough to contain the entire video at the three second mark. So I'll click on OK. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to make sure that not only does the word Ohio change but the picture changes that will be inside Ohio. So I'm going to click on my video and then I'll click on the down arrow to the right of the designer button and choose mask designer. We're going to keyframe our mask to match this. So I need to go in and then we're going to click on the circle because the circle will match the center of the O in the word Ohio. I'm going to shrink it down and move it over. We could do the whole letter. I'm going to try just to do the center of it. Now I need to minimize. I'll click on the magnifying glass to make it smaller. No, I need to maximize. Sorry. Make it larger. And we're going to take this and put it in here. I have one problem in that right now the center is elliptical so I'm going to have to change one value on my mask. I'll turn off maintain and mask aspect ratio and we'll customize it to make it a little more of an oval than a circle. Okay so that looks good and I'm going to set a position and scale value for my mask. Then I'm going to go to the three second mark and now I need to make the mask very very large. So at three seconds I'm going to minimize this and we'll make sure that the mask is big enough to cover the whole screen. Now I'll click on OK. 
Now we're going to find a problem when we do this. I'll play it and you'll see what the issue is. We're going to have to set some intermediate keyframes. Because Ohio expands and the mask expands, but it's not perfect. So the only other thing you have to do, you go back and click on the video. Click on Designer, go back to Mask Designer. And then you have to tweak a few more keyframe positions between the one second mark and the three second mark to make sure that the mask, you see, it's not quite the right proportion because they did, I didn't change them at the same rate. We'll make this smaller so we can see better. And so all we'll have to do is tweak this a little bit, both in length and width, in order to fit the inside of the expanding letters. And so we may have to do that a couple of times. We won't uh, bore you with that. I'll pause the video as we tweak this by setting a few more keyframes. So I've adjusted it, and it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. We'll play it one more time. There's one other thing I'd like to change. I'd like to make it so that this Ohio doesn't have an image in the middle when we start before it grows. So I'm going to click on the video clip again and not go to Mask Designer, but just double click and get into my PIP Designer. Then we're going to change the opacity. So what I do, I'd like, is I'd like that to be opaque before it starts growing. And so we'll set an opacity keyframe. Right now it's at, at normal size. And then just a few frames short of that, we'll set an opacity value again, only this time we'll turn the opacity down to zero. So now it will be normal inside of the letter. And click on that. So now let's see what it looks like when we try to play the movie with the modification. Not bad. So that's one way in which you can accomplish this kind of transition. The only other thing I'd like to mention is that if you're going to try to do this with another letter, you need to create a custom mask that's the shape of that letter. That goes beyond the scope of this tutorial, but the, that would be the task before you if you choose to do that.